hello guys how are you doing thank you so much for clicking in right we're making pounded yam but today we're using a different thing okay so let's do this together now yam is a delicious nutritious african tuber okay and we eat this thing a lot in my home if you've seen my yam um healthy yam video you know we eat a lot of yams anyway we're boiling it i'm using a little bit of water I'm not teaching anyone how to boil yam but we need some water but not too much it takes about half an hour or thereabouts to be honest i don't time it you just make sure it's nice and soft and it can break apart you need it really soft especially if you want to use a food processor or a stand mixer now today we're using a stand mixer these are the different components this is a sage you know by henson um stand mixer i've had this for years but i just first time i ever tried making pounded yam in it i wasn't happy it felt like too much work so this is my current thing i have been using and then it broke down it just broke down on me so no more pounded yam we just have to make do without or buy a new one i decided to use my stand mixer now mashing it i just pre-mashed it because like i said previously when i've tried doing this it didn't work pre-mashing it without pre-mashing so i just pre-mash it first and then put it in my stand mixer guys i'm gonna blow your mind you see how long this thing is gonna take okay it's gonna be timed so just watch the timer it took such a short time have a guess leave me a comment in the comment section let me know how long it's gonna take it's done one minute and i realized it was splashing a lot but the splash guard is just useless simply because it was a lot of pounded yam though it was about maybe four kilos or something like that it was a big portion so I think with a smaller portion, but actually the sage has a bigger bowl, but I broke it, my bigger bowl. Guys, look at that pounded yam. It's ready. Look at how much, how long it's taking. Two minutes. I was like blown away because I thought, oh my God, this is really quick. And it was smooth. I just put it back and added some more water because I wanted it a lot softer. That's all. Apart from that, this thing was ready in two minutes. So really fast. Okay. Sage, well done. This thing is a good machine. I use it to do my baking, but never for pounded yam yam so guys do you know why i make my pounded yam there's so many funny ingredients in the pound dough we buy yeah there's a lot of weird things that you even when they say it's 100 percent pure so it's best to make it yourself for the last probably three years we've been making it ourselves and not looking back and all of you that use cling film to wrap your fufu i'm watching you in one corner you need to avoid using it okay look this thing is parchment paper and it's worked beautifully so some people are not home i'm just putting theirs away in a flask because if you leave yam to cool off it's gonna go hard and solid pounded yam doesn't like staying cold and we don't use microwaves so we don't reheat food in my house now my little one is home look at the amount of pounded yam that's for a nine-year-old guy anyway thank you so much for watching i was just gonna show you and give you guys a taste give a like button and subscribe Bye-bye.